When most people imagine fly fishing, they think about the western U.S., or at least that's what I grew up imagining. With the high peaks of the Rocky Mountains lingering in the background as trout willingly sift dries, it was hard to argue with something so perfect. When I finally got my first taste of western fly fishing, I quickly figured out that the image wasn't far off. In fact, the mountains were more impressive, the water was cleaner, and there were more unique fishing opportunities than even my mind could have conjured up. I'm not saying the Rockies don't have their issues, but the sheer amount of good water is unreal. I recently spent eight days fishing and filming in Colorado, where I explored as many diverse areas as I had time for. This was day one. Welcome to another episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. Can you try to hit the current further on the right? I see a fish. Sit dead in front of that rock. Perfect cast. Yep. I got that on slow mo. All right, guys. So this is the very first hole we we uh, stopped at here. Cast it in a few times with the dry fly. We caught this decent sized rainbow. I, I was actually starting to walk up and then I like pulled up my line and I thought I was stuck on a rock. And I turned back and a fish was fighting on the end of my line. So but here we are here. That back. I mean there's I mean that's not gonna I'm not gonna be able to hit this this uh well if it jumps out at least I'm recording. Got it. I'm gonna get let it go. You're on that? Yeah. Oh, good fish. That's not a bad rainbow. I, it like uh, came up like almost slow mo up to it. Oh, there's a fish right here. It must have followed it back. These are not bad sized fish, really. Always the rainbows. <laughs> Get you here. One thing about traveling out west, at least for me, is that the first few days are always rough. Between the dry air and the altitude, I'm usually struggling a bit. So I figured I'd provide a little bit of context for this video. After driving around five hours to reach this creek, the plan was to basically fish half a day and hope that I could adjust in time to make a massive hike on day two. This particular creek runs into a lake and on the lower end it seemed like all we could catch were rainbow trout. As far as nothing's coming out, there we go. Got him. You got the net? Just let it go down there here, swing in. Just swam right into the net for me, sweet! I saw him come out, literally came out from that rock. First eight, it looked being big. Yeah. And most of them appeared to be stopped. So, in an attempt to find some wild fish, we went on a little hike. Brown, it was a big brown. Did you see it? Oh, baby rainbow.
baby fish. Hey, baby brown trout. That's small as you get. How? You gotta be kidding me. There we go. Little fishy, little fishy. It took me a second to catch one of those. I missed them like six, seven times. It's got it like a scar on it somehow. Hey guys, another fish just like the other fish. Yeah. I know, I know. Yeah, I know. If I can get it there. There's a fish on it, but I had to pull it up. Ooh. I mean, this is kind of stupid. Nah. Back into the water you go, buddy. Big one. That's a brown. Big brown. Big brown, dude. Oh, that. Oh, oh, it's a big brown, dude. Did you know? Here we go, here we go. There we go. It came right out from that side of rock where you think it one would be. That's sick, man. That's a real good brown for this big thing. It's probably 15 or? Yeah, that's probably around 14, 15, definitely. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we've actually uh, started seeing some more browns finally. So I think we just pushed up the creek further and we're starting to see some wild browns. And they seem to be of a decent size as well. Like, this is a pretty good size brown for this. Good? Yeah. As we got further from the lake, the fishing got worse. We would fish these beautiful holes and catch nothing. However, the fish we did catch were almost always wild. So I'm not sure if we were just crappy fishermen or if the fish weren't biting, but whatever the case may have been, we struggled. We caught a fish every now and then, kind of like this one.
It's about the smallest one I've seen. There we go. Whatever, just go. But we eventually retreated back to camp. At the time, we really didn't have any food and we needed to run into town to prep for the next day anyway. I know this video was short, but the day of fishing was short. We had always looked at this day as a warm up and judging by the missed fish. You gotta be kidding me. And the broken line. Dang it. I think we needed it. If there's one lesson to learn from this trip, it's this. Don't leave fish to find fish.